Hello everyone, DNA here. Uh, I'll be showing off my mod menu, uh, my like my own version of it for Deadlocked. Um, yeah, you'll see. I don't know. I, I'm as far as I know, this has never been done before, and I think it's awesome. It's a little confusing to make, and it's also even more confusing to make mod menus with. But it's definitely, it's definitely something really cool. I could have. I don't know. You can just do a lot with it once you have it. Anyway, um, let's let's actually look at an example here. Um, by the way, it's C sharp. It uses it. It works. It works actually, almost entirely how Netsheet plugins work, except you can live edit the code. Um, well, I mean, every time you edit, you have to click build again. But yeah, after you make an edit, you click build, and then it's live editing, and uh, um, yeah, so. I, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's basically a plugin, and except it's made for a plug is a plugin. It's a plugin's plugin. Uh, okay. Hi. So uh, he does that like every day. Every time I get on, I get a message from him saying hi. Hi. Uh, this is kind of confusing. As I said, it's really weird making this stuff makes no sense um, unless you made it like I did but even then it's a little weird uh, you have a lot of oops hold up you have a lot of properties over here so there's three for deadlock there's more than this you can have images and stuff in the HUD like uh, like that's an image the uh, mini map here let me expand that that's an image um, there's a lot of sub images in there but like uh, I didn't take the time to figure out how that works so there's roots. I call them roots. They're not actually roots. They're just I just call them roots. Um, they reference other sub items, which can include roots, um, or can include an actual item, like text or uh, an Im uh, not image, but like a background. Like this black right here is a background. Um, so here's a background. It's well, I mean, I call it a box, but box properties, and then title is text properties. So you can see it's a cyan. Uh, it says De DNA workshops deadlocked mod menu. Has a side. It says the alignment, which is actually pretty cool. That's that's a deadlock thing. I'm not like calculating it behind the scenes. Uh, deadlock actually has the option to enter this as a byte, which is pretty weird. Um, these are actually things that get handled by uh, the program. This is whether or not it's visible. As uh, okay. Point is, um, I don't want to go through this too much because I know people get bored. Uh, there's a bunch of C sharp code, which is really confusing, but you can have sub menus where you can edit stuff based on what you do. And if you look, let's do kills. This is a good example, actually. Uh, you can have functions because it's C sharp, as I said. You can literally have functions like this that do some stuff, blah blah blah. Get that. It's a little weird, but yeah, set mem. You can actually set the memory from these, so it's like a, it's a plugin's plugin. <laughs> So right here, it takes the actual start address, then applies the offset of the player that you're editing, because it's kills, and the kills are two bytes um, per player, and it kind of moves along just like plus two, plus two, plus two. So for player one, which is actually player zero, you just multiply by two and add it to the offset, and then you apply the new difference. And it's, uh, yeah, that's about it. So to actually build all of them and enable input which is like the controller uh, so if I actually go back to the root once it's done uh, you'll see like my host which is as it's like netsheets plugins um, plugin interface dot our, our buttons pressed so if L3 is pressed then do that otherwise check for these which are to get, move between menus and L3 will enable so if you if I click L3 uh, here's the menu. So as this, like you can see the color, like it's in the center. It's all that stuff. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So there's the selection, which is right. So for this menu, which is menu one, there's the selector, which is blue. And I'm pretty sure I can actually change this live. Yeah. That's definitely not the same color. It's a white, and that's <laughs> hold up. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. Uh, uh, hmm, that's weird. 
it's rather interesting. I guess these this is a this is significantly brighter for some reason. But yeah, you can do some live edits. It's pretty cool. Uh, this is bugging out on me. Thank you. I really like that. You're my friend. Um, yeah, anyway, so I don't, uh, let's see, I don't remember what the blue was, I'll just put it there, okay, uh, that's bad, actually, don't do that, maybe not, um, yeah, okay, I like that, yeah, that's good enough, um, so yeah, you use circle, so if you look at the menu, the root, okay, maybe you look at the selector, uh, no, okay, uh, maybe the rapid fire, uh, where is checking to see if I'm pressing circle? Uh, oh, there it is. Sorry, it was here. Uh, if I'm pressing circle, it turns the value, the HUD value, uh, data value, of whatever item is selected to 1, which basically enables it. Um, so if I press circle, I now have rapid fire. If I press circle again, it goes away. Uh, infinite health. Um, it doesn't save me from dying in water, but you can see my health is still full. It flickered, but it's still full. Uh, um, walk through walls, so I can go through walls, right? That makes sense. Moon jump, I can go through this wall over here and moon jump. There's a barrier, uh, right? Yeah, okay. Um, okay, and then the other thing I can do is I can move, um, with the triangle d-pad I can change to a different menu and here I can select between the two players and you notice that I died so I have one death and one suicide um, su yeah suicides are obviously when you kill yourself versus death where it's either that or where someone kills you um, I'm not really sure how quickly these update so I'm gonna go ahead and suicide on my OFW um, and you'll see the update on the scoreboard but you yeah so as soon as I think it does, if I were selected, it wouldn't update. But if I like change back and forth, uh, so yeah, I can give, I can change kills, I can change deaths, which don't affect the scoreboard, but suicides do, since they give you negative one kills. Uh, yeah, I can change mine. Yeah. Anyway, that wraps it up. About. Um, I hope to see this like used, like this concept. I think it'd be really cool because it. It's very versatile. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day.